In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this super easy circle design and it can say whatever you would like. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is just open a document. doesn't matter the size, just open one and then you're going to go onto the left side and click apps and then search type craft. Once you have typed that up, you're going to click on this purple app and the first thing you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing the first line. So you can see that the have is on the first line and then a great is on the second line and the days in the last line. We're just going to start with that first line. So have, and then we're going to go ahead and choose our font. I am going to go for a more silly font. So I'm going to go in find fabulous party. I really like this font. Um, it's kind of a wavy, kind of matches which vibe I'm trying to go for. And then you can choose a style. So you can choose none, unfilled, or an outline. I'm going to go ahead and select none. Now we're going to go and start moving it, it into a circle kind of shape. So you can see that there's circles around the box. So once you click and drag these circles, this is when you are going to start creating that circle effect. So for the top line, we're gonna try to make it as circly as possible. So you're gonna have to imagine that you're gonna be creating almost half of the circle. So you're just gonna kind of play with those dots um, to make a circle and what I tend to do is I bring the two dots that are on the left side and the two dots on the right side and bring them together or else I kind of found it got a little bit boxy and then once I brought them together I play with the dots that are on the center that kind of come out like I'm showing you right now. Hopefully that makes sense. And then I am going to bring the bottom line upwards. So you can see on the first design I just showed you, I kind of have the have getting arched, kind of like a rainbow looking. And so I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and play with those two dots that kind of come out again, just to try to make it as circly as possible. <laughs> Then I'm gonna click add element to design and I am going to enlarge it. You do that by clicking the circles on the side and clicking and dragging outwards. And then you can just click and hold it and drag it wherever you would like on the screen. Now we're gonna start working on the second line. So essentially your top one is going to be a half circle and your bottom one's gonna be a half circle. So the middle line just needs to fill in between those two half circles. So you can see that we made it kind of a rainbow. That is so that the middle line has room to be there so you can see that I'm going to click and drag those circles up so that it is going to be not as boxy and I'm going to adjust the middle circle on the top and the middle circle on the bottom to give it more of that arch then I'm going to add it onto my design so I can actually see if the arch I created matches the top and if it doesn't then I'm going to go back in and readjust it and then update the design. Now we're going to work on the bottom line so that's going to be day and so I'm going to add that into the text and I forgot to mention this before but every single time you create a new line you do have to go find that font again. So the first time I created this it looked a little weird because I forgot that I had to change keep changing the font back. I thought it would just keep it there. So the first line had fabulous party and then the second one just had their generic one. Um, so I was like trying to figure it out. I was like why does it look so weird but that was the reason. So make sure you do that. Now this line, we're gonna be doing what we did on the top, but we're gonna be doing it to the bottom, so we're actually gonna flip it. Um, so you're gonna make the bottom the circle, and then the top make it kind of like an upside down rainbow. And then now we are going to add it onto the screen, and we are going to enlarge it and see where we need to critique it. So you'll see that right now it's kind of more of an oval than a circle. So I'm just gonna go back in and adjust all of the lines to make it more of a circle. So at first glance, I can kind of see that I need to make the day kind of longer and maybe the have longer and maybe have the A and the T and the A great a little bit shorter so that it's more of a circle. So you're just gonna go ahead and adjust it to get it as close to a circle as possible. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the colors. So I'm gonna double tap on have, and then I can click on the black box. That's where you can find the different colors and I can go ahead and pick. So I'm gonna kind of do a blue ombre 
look. So I'm going to go find a pretty blue. And then once I like the blue, I can just do update element and it will be on there. And I can go ahead and select this for all of the lines. So I'm now I'm going to go find a darker blue and I'm going to do update element and do the same thing for day. If you want to already know what the colors are going to look well together, there are two different things that you can go ahead and do. So the first thing is that we're going to go ahead and pick a color palette. So when you go into the color and you look on the bottom line, you can see that there is a hashtag and then a bunch of numbers and sometimes letters. So if we change and adjust the color, it will adjust that number. So it's called the hex code we can go in and type blue color palette into google and there's a bunch of websites that come up that give you free color palettes so we can go ahead and pick one that we like so say i like the one on the top i'm gonna go ahead and click and copy and paste that hex code into that line and when i do that you will see that it actually puts it onto the screen now it's barely anything different than the one i already selected so that's why you can barely tell i changed it the second way you can do this by clicking on apps and then going into gradient generator and then we're going to click open and when you do this you'll see that there's a lot of colors that work well together they kind of make a gradient so they kind of gradually change but they also look really good together so we're just going to click randomize until we find one that we like and then i'm actually going to go ahead and pick this pink one right here i think it's really pretty kind of reminds me of a sunset um or kind of sherbert maybe and i'm going to click add a design and then I'm going to move it to the corner because we're only going to be using this to get their hex codes. So I'm going to go in and add text box. This is going to get deleted, so it does not matter if it says anything, the font, nothing. And then I'm going to go down to color or photo colors and I'm going to click see more and you can see that here are all of the hex codes. Now, unfortunately, we can't just go in and copy and paste it. So we're going to have to actually select it. And when we select it, we can go back to photo colors, go up and you're going to click on that photo. And then when you click on the photo, you can copy and paste it into the um, have into the what's it called type gradient and for or type craft. Unfortunately, I wish there was a better way to do this. I wish that you could just copy and paste it really simple, but there is not. Like I wish that when I clicked on the color right there, it gave me the color palettes, but unfortunately it does not. So this is the best way that we can go ahead and do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for all of the colors. And so this next one, I'm gonna go and pick a lighter one, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Go up, click on there, copy it that and go back into type craft paste it in and do the exact same thing for day now for day i'm going to choose this kind of orangey color i don't know i think it's really pretty so i'm going to go ahead and do it that and that is how I would create this circle effect. And then you got a little bit of bonus because you also got to learn how to do the color palettes two different ways. So you either can Google it or you can go into Gradient Generator. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.